All right, let's solve it together. So Edna can paint a wall in 12 hours. Uh, Edgar can do the same job in 16 hours. How long would it take for them to paint the wall together? So this is a classic na work problem. And uh, if you want more videos like this, including the lesson on how to solve this type of problem, you can go to uh, the YouTube uh, channel. It's the www.youtube.com slash Team Laika. All right. Now, let's do it together. Uh, ang pinaka-setup nito would look like this. Okay? Um, you have 1 over 12. Kasi that is yung mag-isa, yung isa sa kanila. Plus, and then 1 over kung ilan yung mag-isa rin yung isa sa kanila, which is 16. And then, this quantity right here, you're going to multiply it by x, which is the number of hours that they are going to build the wall together equals 1. Kasi isang, paint, isa, isang wall lang ipipaint nila. Okay, hindi pala ibibuild, ipipaint. So, uh, now that you have that formula, all you have to do is to solve it down. Okay, now I do have a secret um, technique about this that I teach during the live review events or the online review program. But that's not what we're going to use now kasi wala namang options dun sa problem. Um, but if you want to catch that, uh, I hope to see you in one of those. Alright, so ito, here, uh, all we have to do right now is to get yung least common multiple nila. And one thing I do sa least common multiples, with, which I also discussed in the video lesson there, is I take the bigger number, in this case 16, yung bigger number, I multiply it first by 2. So by 2, that is 32. Kaya lang ang 32, hindi siya divisible by 12. So what I'm going to do is add another 16. That would bring me to 48. And yung 48 na yun, actually, pwede na sa... 12, okay? Kasi that, it, that will be 12 times 4. Now, why do I start with a bigger number? Kasi mas mabilis for you to get the multiples if you only think about the bigger number. Kasi yung maliliit, yung maliliit na number, marami pa siyang multiples sa dadaanan. Marami kang kailangan i-check. Pero ang, all you have to do is to take the bigger number, i-multiply nyo na siya by 2, by 3, and so on and so forth until you find something that is compatible with 12. That's what I do para mas mabilis sa exam. Kasi sa exams, Pabilisan, mas maganda if mas mabilis ka. Okay? So, in this case, again, ang kanilang LCM or um, LCD in this case, magiging denominator siya, is going to be 48. So, what I have to do here is to transform this fraction into over 48. So, 48 divided by 12 is 4 times 1. That would be 4. Plus, and then you have 48 divided by 16, which is 3. Times 1, that is 3. Okay? Tapos, kopyan lang natin. X is equal to... 1. After that, uh, this is going to be 7 over 48. x is equal to 1. And in order for us to cancel itong part na to at maiwan yung x sa isang side, what we have to do now is to multiply this entire equation by the reciprocal or kapaliktara nitong 48. Na, uh, 7 over 48 na yan, which will be 48 over 7. That way, this will be cancelled. x is equal to 48 over 7 hours. Okay? At dahil improper fraction ito, gagawin lang natin siyang uh, mixed number. So, i-divide natin siya sa 7. That would give you 6 and yung natitira would be 6 over 7. So, 6 and 6 over 7 hours. Now, in case kailangan na gawing, hour, gawing hours and minutes ito, all you have to do is multiply 6 over 7 by 60. 
Okay? I also, also discussed that dun sa conversion ng time, ng units of time that I talked about before. So, if you uh, have any questions like that, all the links for the lessons na kailangan yung gamitin dito, yung uh, work problem, fractions, um, including yung mga sa units of time, will be linked in the post. Alright? So, I hope you learned something and uh, happy learning. Thank you.